you fired up? Fired up? Senator Nina Turner of Ohio is going to represent Senator Bernie Sanders. Let's celebrate her coming. Sisters and brothers, brothers and sisters, I count it all joy to be here with you on this rainy afternoon. And I'm so glad that Reverend Al did not stop this because this gives us just a little taste of what our ancestors had to endure. Now, we got troubles, but we don't have middle passage troubles. We got troubles, but we don't have selling your mama, your kids, and your daddy on the block type trouble. This moment reminds me of a spiritual song in the African-American tradition, How I Got Over. My soul looks back and wonders how I got over. Now, sisters and brothers, we know we got over by the blood, the sweat, and the tears of sheroes and heroes, some whose names we know and some whose names we do not know. But I'm gonna tell you something, we have been here before. Now, the only difference is we got some company, Rev. We got our gay lesbian sisters and brothers with us this time. We got our Hispanic, Asian, Native American sisters and brothers with us this time. I think Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King said we may not have gotten here on the same ship, but we are in the same boat right now. We have been here before. And I know that you might be disappointed, but I want you to take solace in these words. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. The valley may be lower, but we've been here before. The mountain might be higher, but we've been here before. Because our mission for social justice and economic justice and political justice and oh by the way sisters we want our whole damn dollar say whole damn dollar you see the mission is so high we can't oh get over it and the mission is so low we can't get under it and the mission is so wide we can't get around it we might be disappointed but we have been here before and as sure as there's a god in heaven he is stronger and more powerful than any man. We cannot forget where we have come from. So sisters and brothers, I wanna leave you with these three things. Number one, the creator of this great universe has given us two hands. One to reach forward and one to reach back, lifting as we climb. Number two, and most importantly, we can't ask other folks to do more for us than we are willing to do for ourselves. And lastly, in the words of my grandmother, who was held from the South born in 1913, grandma could not read or write, but she could count her money. She kept her money in the Southern Ladies Bank and Trust with a handkerchief. Y'all know what I'm saying. When I asked grandma, what does it take to be successful in life? She said, all you need are the three bones, the wishbone, the jawbone, and the backbone. She said the wishbone will keep you hoping and praying because hope is the motivator, but the dream is the driver. The jawbone will give you courage to speak truth to power, but the most important bone of them all, the super fragile, casualistic, expialidocious bone, hey, is the backbone, because it will keep you standing through your trials and tribulations. And guess what, sisters and brothers? We can't have a testimony without a test. And we are being tested right now. Well, whether or not we got courage enough, hope enough, fight enough, love enough to do what is necessary. Hallelujah, 